Hey, what's up friends? This is Moin from Curious Techie and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the latest technology that Sony has invented. It's called Sony Xperia Touch. So, let's know more about it. Sony's new project is a projector that turns any surface into a touchscreen. As I said, it is called as Xperia Touch and it is powered by Android and Sony is going to sell this device this year. Sony unveiled at MWC that the Xperia Touch is meant to be more than just a projector. The company has created its own user interface for the touch. You can also access Skype video chat from this screen or leave video notes. The design is extremely beautiful and it is lightweight and portable and the image quality is great. We are sure you have seen projectors before but Sony promises you will be floored the first time you experience first hand what it's like to have a touchscreen projected on a surface around the house. The Snapdragon 650 is quite snappy and all apps and games work just like you expect. What's the best though is that the Xperia Touch will run all the Android apps and games you already know. There is no limitation or compatibility issues. You can use all the titles you already use on your phone or a tablet. The built-in camera and mic mean you can, you can Skype on a big screen anywhere you go. There is also Bluetooth 4.2, 802.11ac Wi-Fi support with Wi-Fi Direct. It pretty much covers all the connectivity features that a high-end tablet would offer you. There is even a GPS receiver, there is an USB Type-C and HDMI Type-D port too. It's the smallest size available also called as Micro HDMI. So let's discuss some of the features of Sony Xperia Touch. Sony Xperia Touch weighs 932 grams and has a built-in 13 megapixel of camera, two-way stereo speakers powered with latest Android Nougat, 32GB of memory and 3GB of RAM. The Xperia Touch release, release date has been set for spring of this year and pre-orders have been gone live already in MWC. So the verdict of the Xperia Touch. The Xperia Touch is surprisingly easy to use with your finger being picked up easily despite feeling like it should be hard to register. There's just one thing that's concerned with Xperia Touch. Why is it any better than a tablet? The, the gesture mode where you can project onto a wall and interact from afar is a good case but it's not really necessary. Then again, there's something nice about having a display dedicated to certain functions that sits in the corner. Perhaps this is the first step from Sony to something bigger. But right now, it feels like a concept that's still trying to find a home. Unfortunately, this high price tag means the Xperia Touch will be easier to find in showroom floors rather than the small houses, where it would offer the biggest benefit. Regardless of this fact, though the IA Sensing Touch interface is an exciting technology and we can't wait to see where it takes us next. So friends, hope you learned something about Sony Xperia Touch. So just share it with your friends and help them know more about it. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I am Moin from Curious Techie signing off. Jai